Ryan, we are live in Progresso. And about 30 minutes ago, I spoke with family members before they crossed the Progresso International Bridge, which you can see right behind me. They're going to visit with family there uh, in Control, where the, the missing Americans went missing. And it's unclear why these Americans were kidnapped and killed, but it is a deadly reminder of the violence that occurs on the other side of the river. <laughs> The cries of a mother in pain. Raquel Alvarado has gone without sleep since her three American children went missing on October 13th. She says, how can I eat or sleep knowing that my kids, that someone did something to them? Those people who did this don't have a heart. Just this afternoon, she learned her three children are among the four bodies found shot and burned near Matamoros. <laughs> Her cries also come out of frustration. She says, I have a lot of pain, a lot of anger, and I never had support from Mexico. The grieving mother says Mexican officials offered her family no help as they spent the last two and a half weeks searching for any sign her children may still be alive. So this is a tragedy and this needs to stop. Members of the Tamaulipas Chamber of Commerce visited Raquel as she waited. They say the disappearance of these three Americans is shining light on the worsening situation on the Mexico border. There are over 100,000 people that disappeared in the last six years in Mexico. The violence is bad for the image of cities on both sides of the border. It is also tearing at the fabric of families who choose to live here. Raquel is now left to care for her daughter's four children who don't yet understand what happened. She says they will stay with me. I will take care of them and I will protect them. The family says the FBI did take DNA samples of the bodies to further confirm these are the three Americans that have been missing. Right now, there's no word yet on funeral arrangements. Live at the Progresso International Bridge, Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News.